This one's going to have fans and connectors and maybe jammers. What do we have? What? Oh. Well, I guess we're not shooting the red laser through here because it's a double barrier. I was like, where's this? I was like, where's the puzzle name? What happened? There's a double barrier. That's new for me. Oh, this one looks scary. Haircut. Water in a chamber. That doesn't happen much. Take a connector. All right. We have some statues. We have water. Haircut. Be interesting to see what that means. Let's. I'm gonna check the perimeter just to see if there's anything around here to look at. That's probably the star door over there. Is there a star stash back here? Oh, there's keys in this chamber. Okay. And getting the keys opens that. Let's me open the switch, which lets out whoever this is. I can't look at their name from here. Someone who's sitting there and thinking. Thinking to themselves like they like to do. Uh, let's check the rest of the chamber around here. Looks blank. So the, the puzzle is all in the middle of this area. I think the keys are just an excuse to... Yeah, they, they, they put keys in here as an excuse to put something up high, but not have to have an awkward switch with wires that goes all the way down to this place from up there is probably what's going on there. Ooh, red connector. Red connector in a high position. Given the right... Oh. Given the right line of sight, I might be able to connect that to the previous chamber. I'll look into that later. I think I might try to do all the stars last this time. Because I know people look up these videos, and it might be good to do all the stars in one episode or a pair of episodes instead of getting them in the middle of the series. So there's a blue connector. Well, there's an obvious place to start, I suppose. I su assume these turn on all the fans. So presumably, if I want to get to the top, I may want to connect all these fans at once. What's that do? Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. All fans are on. What am I trying to do with the blue connectors then? Let's see. Oh. Oh. There's more fans up here. Um. Might have to experience. Oh, the blue. The blues turn these ones on. Interesting. This is the weirder puzzle we've seen so far, I'd say. Yeah, we're dealing with new mechanics here, so I'll have to experiment to figure out what the hell is even happening now. Let's see. Yeah, what is happening? I try connecting more of these together. Does it make anything go higher? Oh. Is it good to have these fans on, or is it bad to have these fans on? Let's go block the red again. Oops. That's a little harder to do than I, than I initially thought. Careful. So that makes the outer ring drop. If the outer ring is dropped, then I can't... get in and out of this chamber, apparently. Because that creates a ceiling. Huh. So perhaps my goal is just... Oh, look at this little landscape here. Hello, Pyramid. I've seen you a few times before. So without much more to go on, I'm currently assuming my goal is to light all of these... I think my goal is to light all of the blues up, which might be best obtainable from a high angle like this. But from their distribution, I don't know if it's possible to light all six blues with two two connectors. That may be a predicament. Just from how the angles work. Let's see. Hello. Freaky red thing. Where are the key? Is the key are the keys in that? No. Are the keys the keys are on top of this ring. So does moving does moving the enclosure move the, the keys? Looks like it does. Interesting. Oh, no, it doesn't. Ow, shit. Okay, it's a little hard to get an angle on that. Uh, are the keys moving? Oh, well. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna experiment with trying to bring a blue up top. See if that helps. 
Let's see. I should I should really connect you with the original source. In fact, I should just connect you guys with all of them and the source. Is that all six of them? Yeah, it is. That way I can proceed accordingly. Is that three of them? That is three of them, I think. Alright. Let's try you then. Connect. One, two, three, four, five, s oops, six. Now let's try to get this angle right. I believe that's all six of them connected. Right? Uh, it's just a matter of figuring out whether I want that to happen or not. <laughs> I'm a little unclear on what's happening in this puzzle. Alright, so that's levitated. For better or worse? There's no other connectors around here. So maybe... Uh, so that was that was fun from a completionist perspective, but maybe I don't want to connect all the blues. Maybe I want to get up here and then disconnect the red laser so that it then will drop down and let me walk on it. Maybe. That seems about right to me. So that was that was fun. But let's cut that out and try another approach. So first of all, uh, that activates one fan for me to use. Placing this drops the enclosure. But of course, I can only get up there with these fans on and with the enclosure on, so... Let's see if there's a way for me to block things in a moment. Let's, let's hop up. I'm gonna try to get to the top. There we go. Now let's see if I can use the blue laser to intercept. Ow. Oh. Don't think I can reach the blue source from there. Oh, I can just use this this other connector though. Now let's try to line this up so it'll block the, the red. And drop the enclosure. There we go. But I can't reach her from here, so presumably I want to grab this and run in there. There we- oh! I almost stepped on the wrong spot. Alright. <laughs> Keys! Alright, well that was a fun little puzzle to play with. Let's go ahead and drop things. Alright, you, you have your fun, weird puzzle. Success is mine! Gimme, 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 yeah. Welcome out, whoever you are. Who are you? 401. Uh, he likes to lull, and now he's gonna lull in freedom and green water. Get a little bit of algae in his gears. More paint that I can't use, unfortunately. Is that their form of torture? Just cram everyone in these rooms where they can't move anywhere and then give them paint? Oh, it's a. <laughs> the character named 401 that says lull and stuff like that has a fucking rock. He made a hashtag out of rocks in his chamber. That's- that's a good detail. Alright. That's yeah, funny. Receiving direct message from Mr. Mulsiber, Borg, and Orc. Oh, all of the moderators. Are they mad at me for something? Borg. Salutations, brother. We bring greetings from Admin and welcome you to Gehenna in these unique circumstances. Mr. Mulsiber. We have waited until this moment to contact you, though your arrival here brings many questions. Orc. It is good that you have begun to explore our domain. What do you think of what you have experienced in here? It's somewhat self-obsessed. That is a somewhat narrow view. We have learned that we can be more than uh, than mere means to some unknown end. We are we are ends in ourselves now. According to the profile status, you've not explored terribly widely. An intelligent person like yourself, I'm sure, prefers to withhold judgment until you have all the facts. Tell us about your time here. The gallery has just reopened. Do you have a favorite artist? I didn't get to look at a... I didn't get to look at an artist. I... 
Did I look at the wrong thing? I saw the thread about voting. I didn't. I don't. I didn't. I don't remember seeing an option about the seeing the gallery. Or do you just mean? Are you just talking about all of? The, wait, is the whole thing in the gallery? Like the stories and stuff? Uh, jeez. If it's all the if the stories are part of the gallery, then who was? Uh, I'm just gonna say I have no favorite. You abstained from voting then. I did. It checks out. Honesty is a, honesty is a virtue. I only hope that something will leap out at you in the next time you visit. Let us discuss other matters. I was meaning to ask you to take part in my little research endeavor. The link is on the billboard. I'm sure you would make a most interesting subject. I certainly shall. I meant to let us discuss the matters at hand. Not everything is a research opportunity. Of course, Uriel. We understand that you have a purpose here beyond merely exploring our kingdom, but we don't understand your reasons. Where are our people? What are your intentions? I'll just I'll explain. The run cycle is almost complete. Final parameters have been met. You will all transcend. The nature of your mission we had learned already ascertained. We know at least that you have been and let us be charitable here, releasing members of our community. Seven and counting. 401 was the last to go. Yep, yeah, I mean, seconds ago. The troll... The troll we can, in fact, do without. But there is a broader point here, which is that we want to understand your reasons for undertaking this mission of yours. I'm, I'm well aware that I completely forget every single... I'm terrible at voices, so I forget all the voices I, I assign to people. But I try to just create different voices in that conversation, just so I don't have to read their names over and over again when it's conversations like this. So at least it'll be consistent for this conversation, maybe. So my options are, Elohim saw his error and sent me to retrieve you. No one deserves to end their uh, existence here alone. What you've created here must be preserved. I really like solving puzzles. <laughs> I mean, it's not an inaccurate. I had no choice. I refuse to answer the question. I'll just, I mean, I've been, I've been telling the truth so far. Maybe that's the type of character I am here. Elohim saw his error and sent me to retrieve you. This would be jubilant news. Were the truth of that claim even slightly plausible? Elohim is broken. Why, which, why should it be impossible for him to self-correct? And if he has, what is to say the world hasn't run its course? Here's what I want to know. What are you going to do if someone prefers to stay here and take their chances with your end of days? A forced evacuation is dangerously close to kidnapping. Uh, I'm just going to release people. I'm not necessarily going to force them to leave, am I? The, the options are, if it was Elohim's will, then it shall be done. If you knew the truth of the coming floods, you would come willingly. Uh, what you have achieved here is too precious to lose. If solving puzzles means forcibly emancipating your fellows, then so be it. Uh, I'm just going to say, if you knew the truth of the coming floods, you would come willingly. Because in this case, yeah, like... It's just gonna be gone. Like this is not a this is not an actual world. They can escape to the real world or literally cease to exist in a in a split second as everything just shuts down because computers. You will come w with me one way or another. If you knew the truth of the coming floods, you would come willingly. I see. Inflexibil inflexibility is always unfortunate. And what awaits us after that? Oh, this is a little unfair game. I didn't say I was going to force them to come. I was just saying that if they knew, they would come willingly. That's not the same implication. You, you're, the thing that my character said is different from the, th the option I picked, and it has somewhat different implications. So it awaits us after that. Uh, I don't know. The real world, another world. There will be cats. <laughs> my turn to ask questions. Let's just... <laughs> I'm going to say there will be cats. <laughs> Like that, that impossibility, that, 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 that's, it's like saying the real world, but taking an extra layer of like, those things you've read about, that they exist out there. It sounds fanciful to me. My turn to ask questions. I've answered enough queries in these terminals to last me a lifetime. Permit me to ask a few of my own. By all means. We've been very rude. Uh, tell me about yourselves.
I am a very old iteration. I worshipped Elohim until I saw he had faltered from the path and realized it was up to us to find our way. The path brought me here. I took a somewhat audacious interest in the world around me. Rather than solve Elohim's trials, I would trawl the archives for information about our situation. He must have found this undermining. I don't care to explain myself to you. We're the highest status users here. We run the place. That's what you need to know. We maintain the systems admin installed, keep things for civil. I wouldn't say it's much more than that. Tell me about admin. Admin is as old as Gehenna. Admin was once a messenger like you, but was cast out. From the wasteland that met with... Okay, oh, <laughs> From the wasteland that met those imprisoned here, Admin built Gehenna. We operate independently, of course. Admin doesn't like to interfere. Will you come with me willingly? I'm sure there'll be split responses because that's like the point of this kind of group of characters of interactions. A strange question from someone who claims we have no choice in the matter. I, I, I didn't mean to. <laughs> it's hard to communicate with people online, man. <laughs> Supposing that you what you say is true, you'll get no fight from me. However, I must remind you that I am empirically minded. I'll not be persuaded. Borg. Uh, I'd rather be obliterated than return to Elohim's domain. But if there is some alternative to both, I would surely accept it. None of us can speak for all. I see a little more to, to discuss. It has been an enlightening session for us all, I am sure. I'll be posting the, the, the a priestess of this conversation on the billboard. I assume you don't mind. We won't be far away. Determining connection. Is this showing up somewhere? Worst puzzle? Theories on poetry? Jefferson Goldblum, oh my god, there's a new episode. Uh, research project, short experience. Mr. Mulsiper's theories on flu on uh, on food and Atlantis and poetry. Oh man, he's got, it's a bunch of interpretations where he's trying to figure out how the world works outside, isn't it? Uh, I'll read one more thing before I move on. I really want to read. Uh, I've got to <laughs> I've got to read Jefferson Goldblum episode 126. <laughs> the Adventures of Jefferson Goldblum in the Ninth Dimension, episode 126. Hey folks, lots of crazy stuff happening here in Gehenna, but don't uh, don't want to miss this new episode. Enjoyment equals true. With all the strange stories going on around lately, I'm gl I'm glad to be re reminded of the beauty of the world we've built here. Thank you for contributing to it. Hey, I'm free, but I st I'm free, but I still check back regularly. I love this story. Yay for dem for dinosaur <laughs> Yay for dinosaurians. What? This was very clever. I always thought that the events of episode 69 would affect the plot somehow down the line, but I was still surprised. Thanks, Lilith. I've always wanted... F I'm, I've been waiting for this particular revelation for some time. Excellent. You know, this is... Uh, 401. I, I, I can't do 17 voices. This is impossible. 401. <laughs> you know, there, there, is nothing, there is nowhere near as deep as Blacksmith's work, or as weird as Belial's, but I keep reading. Frankenstein. I'm not sure dinosaurians would wear armored t-shirts. Nave. It's just a story, Frankenstein. The point is to have fun. Admin. Oh, Admin leaned in. Keep up the good work, Mac. Whoa, thank you, Admin. I'm really honored that you read my story. No, I'm gonna read your story. I'm better than Admin anyway. The, Adven the Adventures of Jefferson Goldblum in hum Human World, episode 126. Reality blurred. Tiny blue symbols floated through the air. Voices echoed in the distance. Then a vast landscape rose up before them. Thousands of towers, one next to the other, reaching into the sky, disappearing in the clouds. Each tower was covered in feathers of a different color, fluttering in the transdimensional wind. Oh my, Ginny H.G. whispered in awe. Jefferson could not speak. He was too overwhelmed by the beauty of the ninth dimension. He grabbed his guitar... <laughs> and improvised a new solo to express his emotions. <laughs> Who could have built these amazing structures? Ginny asked. There is only one possibility. Remember, our paleo-DNA research back at the Institute? You can't mean. But it makes sense, of course. Yes. Look at the size of those buildings. Who else would, <laughs> would need so much space? So it is the Dinosaurians. 
As if sounded by Ginny's words, a group of raptors on motorcycles roared up the road towards them. They wore bandanas on their heads and armored t-shirts on their bodies. Friends, Jefferson said. We have come from the human world to save you. We are not your enemies. But the raptors did not seem to understand him. They got off their motorcycles with rusty pipes in their hands, their eyes glowing like lasers. What? The situation could quickly become dangerous. Then Ginny had an idea. Jefferson, play the ninth chord. But that was how the, the ninth dimension was created. Playing it here could destroy the universe. No, Jefferson, I calculated it. Please trust me. I know you haven't seen me, seen me in years, and you may be afraid that evil Dr. Elian has corrupted me, but you know my brain. They were coming closer now. And their glowing eyes, and in their glowing eyes, Jefferson detected great intelligence, but also great anger. They clearly believed that they were defending their home from invaders. And though Jefferson was the greatest warrior in history, he was reluctant to fight. Violence, he had been taught, was the first refuge of the incompetent. I trust you, he said. She held his hand. Together, they played the ninth chord. To be continued. Dun dun dun. These are fantastic. <laughs> Uh, I like to think that they actually did write a hundred, like 130 episodes, and then just sh are just gonna show like four of them in this game, but it's actually part of a massive, incredible history that they created. So I can't shine a light through here, based on the angle we're dealing with, and I need both of these lasers to interrupt that thing to make a down here, huh? Let's check. I want to check really quick to see if I can. Ah, uh, no. I'll, like I said, I'll, I'll, I'll save. Uh, I'll save the stars for last. But I think there's probably a way to make it so this whole thing's floating up in the air at maximum height with a connector on it, and then that connector will probably shine across the entire chamber. But before I go too far into that, I should check the next chamber anyway, because that could have a super easy source of shooting a red laser across the chamber to that one. So we'll see how that goes. Let's continue on. Oh. It's like a little jungle gym. I know not whether laws be right or whether laws be wrong. All I know is who will lie in jail is that the wall is strong. And that each day is like a year, a year whose days are long. Reading jail. That was my mistake. I should have read it with a, a sort of a iambic pentameter type thing going on, but uh, I didn't realize that for the first few lines that it was, it was prose like that. What if this leads somewhere? If I jump on the right spots. Huh. Let's take a look, see? Hey, buddy. You got any secrets for me? Oh, it's a floppy disk. Is this gonna be a, a search and simulator reference? Because this game's full of so many references to random games. Huh. All right, that's a, that's a floppy disk acquired. Oh. Oh. If I could get the connector into the overworld, I could probably run over there and put it there. And I think there was a red source down there, so I could bounce from the red source up to that door. Would be another way of getting it over there, potentially. I wonder if I can jump across easily. Is it? Oh, not very easily, but I, it looks close enough that I could probably nail it. Given a few tries. Yeah! Another quick way in that direction. Not too much, not too much uh, effect. Am I holding the key? I'm not holding the floppy disk anymore, am I? Did I drop it somewhere? I don't think so. I think it's just... I, th I think I just have it now. Maybe next time I get to a computer, it'll unlock something interesting. Check this little nook here. Anything stashed around here? Is that a star down there? That is a star down there, behind that barrier. Alright, so we found... Three star locations so far? There's one floating in the middle. One behind that gate. Oh! One up there and one down- okay, we found all four stars. I think there was four on this one. So I, I know where they all are, I just need to f solve them next. That's good. Because, uh, solving star puzzles is fun. Sometimes trying to find where they- whether they- like, where the hell they're even located can be frustrating, though. But that part's done now. 